Hello, I'm Michael Stearns, children's book author and storyteller, and these are my babies, Coco Pelli and the Butterfly, and my sequel, Coco Pelli and the Island of Change. I've story told my books at over 500 elementary schools nationally, with over 350,000 children enjoying my shows to date. Oh, I'll get your kids fired up about reading, learning, environmentalism, celebrating diversity, and peaceful conflict resolution through a show full of sound effects and character voices that I do personally. Very interactive, very dynamic, a lot of fun, and appropriate for all grades. I've been told that my shows are easier to book than any out there and less expensive, too. So enjoy this video, and I sure hope that I'll hear from your school. Grasshopper Dream Productions proudly presents Coco Pelli and the Island of Change. I'm a reading coach here in Hillsborough County in Tampa, Florida, and I know from my experience that Michael has attended about 110 out of 120 schools in our district alone. The presentation today, Coco Pelli and the Island of Change, really um, enhances what we want to be happening in classes across the country. We want there to be a focus and a theme and kind of building communities of learners. Here at Citrus Park we have about 850 students. Of those 850 students he saw almost 100 percent of our population. He teaches them lessons, he gets them excited about reading, he promotes literacy. Never give up on your dreams ladies and gentlemen. I've learned that everything you need to know can be read in a Both of the stories uh, really touch a variety of ages. Kindergartners love the illustrations. He's wonderful with every age group. We have students from kindergarten through fifth grade at our school and he does a wonderful job not only with the little children but also with the older students. They love the character development, the plot development, um, and just the overall theme, all kids can identify with the themes in the stories. You can almost hear the rainforest animals chattering, the waterfalls roaring, the waves lapping on the beach. Do you guys wish you could take a vacation there? Yeah! Coco Pelli and Sam Sara love their island of change too. They lived in harmony with all of the animals and the land. Our kids today aren't taught enough of this and they need to be taught these lessons. Your books will be a great asset to my classroom and to our school. Being able to have a real author come in and talk to their kids really kind of springboards lessons that they do. So I've had several teachers come by my office just in the last hour to tell me what a wonderful job he did and how glad they were that he came. So definitely the buzz is going around the school. Both children and the teachers have seen the books, have used the books, and they're really excited about about the whole concept. An important lesson that I learned from the story was that you should recycle and not um, throw things away in Mother Nature. It's entertaining, um, it's educational, he touches on social studies, he touches on character education, he touches on the importance of reading and writing, so he covers almost every part of the curriculum. Kids love him, they want to go up and shake his hand, and so many times they can't meet their idols, but to actually have an author come in that's written a book that they are familiar with and they got to hear themselves, they just get so fired up and so excited. Coco Pelli is a great and wonderful person because he's really a person that who helps people and helps animals. Can we save the world together? Yeah! And that, my friends, is the power of a good book. So when I say read, you say books. Read! Books. Read! Books. Read! Books. read. Books. I want to thank you guys so much. Read! His enthusiasm, his motivation, his talent. I know anyone who will have him in their town will be extremely lucky. Sometimes I get a little carried away, you know. Read! And now I thought... Read! 